Morning, I'm Dougie Marshall. You're very welcome. and mum and dad were Jersey farmers and cooking was always my job. I got left behind in the kitchen to feed everybody at haymaking time and, and I sort of went off into a career of food and cookery and now they've all married together. Just a little run down on the running order of the next three days then, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Linda Bryans, okay. she's going to do a piece with you that's going to go out live on air. There's a rumble and a jumble we could have a royal visit, possibly on Wednesday as well. Jenny has been respected in cooking and recipe books. She's been number one bestseller. She's been to America. She's screening in 22 countries. She has already had built a career of respect and trust. And uh, when we met with Jenny a few years ago, Jenny wanted to take it to another level because she just knew there had to be more that could be done with food. And you see people sitting in the audience and you can just tell to look at them that they're great cooks. You just know. There came this necessity to create the Ambassador Programme and in this I work with an amazing, enthusiastic bunch of people. And it's all under the word of food. I wish to know the jerseys in the air the You know which ones to run away from? <laughs> It's not just about cooking food in a pan. We're addressing the local issue, the food that's right here and the lovely story behind it. Two minutes, and then okay. these guys, Robert Dean Angus, want to okay. see you. It started initially through her website, jennybristow.com, uh, and people started to, to grasp the vision uh, in terms of what Jenny was about. Thank you very much, Jenny. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Promoting local produce, local goodness, sourcing uh, locally. How many spots do you think there is there? I don't know, but they were saying that the spots come from the apples falling off the trees. And that's that's cool. <laughs> we meet the producers, get their produce, Jenny cooks with it, we show how good it is, and then folk hopefully go and buy the produce. Put our beef or pork at the end of your fork, just as nature intended. Working with Jenny Bristow has been unbelievable. I've been telling everybody how wonderful she's been. I like this nice sort of casualness of it. Fantastic ambassador for Northern Ireland food. This is good sensible cooking. In our first year of exhibiting at this event, we've actually sold out of all our sausages. Hello, Colin. People coming along and looking and seeing and buying. I can only sing our places. But the ambassador programme itself is a lot bigger than that. It actually represents uh, farming communities, it represents the consumer, it represents produce in the stores. My job is to, can we get this as linked up thinking, as opposed to uh, a piece here and a piece here and a piece there. It's fantastic news, Lady Lindley. What did you want? We won the best of all. We really? won the champion of champions. So that's the top prize? Absolutely and top. This is and I've just been on telly with it. I hope you become part of it later on and we can do lots of yogurt cooking together. I think we have lots of fun things in store. Let's cheer for Jenny Bristol! <laughs> Hey, How are you? We're very fresh thinking, we're very dynamic. Uh, Jenny Figureheads is also a very dynamic person. She's always put her twist on something. Well, we could always teach you how to cook. Folk can come onto the website and see what Jenny's doing. They can see the recipes that are being cooked here today at Balmoral. They go home and they get them, they use them. We're away with the good old sizzling here, right? Yeah. Lovely to note in the press this morning, the newsletter. You know, oh. I don't know if you saw the, the, the supplement. The Jenny effect. The Jenny effect. I took some of our pork and leek sausages along to Jenny and she turned them into a, a sausage quiche. It came down to my stand about two minutes after she cooked it. My stand was mobbed. Suddenly all the quiche was gone and most of my pork and leek sausages were gone. So I think that's the Jenny effect. That combined with education, getting the sort of the principles into children at a very early very, age. Very well. Well, we've got the whole family here. Yes, they're all here helping are today helping too, too, so they are. We're doing an amazing ambassador programme with education in the Odyssey and in W5, working with the universities to develop that as well. Then top with just a little Irish mist and left to cover the raspberries. Jenny is an ambassador because she knows about the whole supply chain from how to plate and uh, she knows about the sort of things we're trying to do. That's starting to look good. Everywhere we've evolved, whether it's with fair trade or looking at the environment or looking at waste or looking at packaging, we've said, right, we've got to blend that and that becomes part of the ambassador's story. But I think if we can instill this sort of backbone here, I think we've got a tremendous opportunity. The produce here is so good, we've got to be taking it right around the world. As long as we're always working hard to keep the credibility and the trust that Jenny has for many years built up and established, not just in Northern Ireland, but globally, 
then really it's a slam dunk.